Okay, so I'm making the blade look more like the blade by just, since it's clear, I'm taking this black, and basically all I'm doing is taking a sponge and putting it all over it to give it some color, but I'm going back in and wiping it off with this, almost like doing weathering, that way it gives it the color, doesn't stay looking clear, but you can still see the light through it. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Doing it this way, add some color, makes it look a little bit more like the real thing. But, this, for some odd reason, when you add color like this, it seems like it distributes the, the uh, color a little better. So, now I'm just going in with a rag. And I'm not worried about getting this perfect. That's a big thing. Uh, not worried at all. In fact, I'm going to go back in and you can see a few of these spots where there's black like here and here. And I'm going to try to add more black in there. But see, it seems like it spreads it out more. So you can see this side. Now look at that side. That side you can see all the LEDs basically you can still see them on this side, but it seems to spread out the color a little bit better. So it's it's an amazing thing. I don't know how I'm going to evenly get all that paint in there. But I want to. I hope I don't mess it up by putting too much black. Oh, there we go. I kind of just have to load it up. And just drop it in there. see a lot more of that detail now. See that black on the front. So that looks really good. So I'm going to go through there and just do that. There's one side not painted, one side painted. So it just looks better. Alright, so there it is. You can see the detail a lot better when you do it like this. Now, I didn't smooth this out, remember that. So the back, you can still really see the, the uh, 3D print uh, layers. Uh, other than that, I think it looks better like this than just straight clear. Adds a little bit of detail to it. Makes it look a little better. And that spreads it out. Spreads out that light throughout the entire blade so much even, so much more evenly. Just looks so much better. So now, today, part three, I just need to mount this battery up there. And then uh, I did some, I'm gonna do a little bit of detail work in here by using, you know, just Another form of weathering, but with lighter brown. Basically the same concept. I'm taking this and just going along the handle. Just like so. And I probably don't have to do very much of this. This is just to get more of the wood grain color to it. More Bruce Real color. And I'm using the paint that I actually painted my group with. So it's not just one uniform brown, it's going to be multiple browns.
Alright, so now I got all the brown all over it. This is literally how quick this is going to be. Once I get all the brown all over it. There it is. I'm just going to take this, basically just pat it along. Wiping it off, I'm just patting this along. There. I don't know how good you can see this handle. So it's not just one brown color, it's multiple brown colors. And then I'll get the top when it dries. So this one's a short video uh, because after this, we'll be the uh, Thursday cosplay thing so that's basically what it looks like I'm gonna put a clear coat on it and of course I've got to get a way to uh, mount the battery that's all you get to see for now on part three it's a real short video uh, and then once I show you the reveal it'll be done it'll have the uh, mounted battery and it should have a layer of clear coat on it so it'll make it just a little bit better but I don't like to finish these process videos with the actual finished finished 100% complete because I like to have you guys watch the reveal so you guys can can see the actual uh, thing in the reveal video so we'll show you guys and probably link will be in the description if when it's uploaded so if the links not in the description when you're watching this it'll be uploaded very shortly which today is Thursday so it should be tonight all these videos will come out. Bye.